Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Creative Gal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a super fun video plan and basically I'm going to be listing the top 10 least used features in Bloxburg. So there is a lot of stuff that we actually don't use and we don't notice because, you know, we don't use it. So basically I have a list of 10 things right now on my phone and I'm going to go through every single one of them and explain like why we don't use them or why I think we don't use them. If you guys are new, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. A lot of you guys don't have my bell on, so if you do want to be notified and be one of the first people to comment, turn it on and I might reply to your comment. We'll see. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. The first feature we are going to be talking about is taking out the trash and just the trash system in general. So if you guys go to the kitchen and here, let me just say I want, you know, a salad and I just keep throwing it out. Okay, so I just filled out my whole entire trash can and I have the ability to empty it, take the trash bag and then bring it outside. And I can throw it away. I don't think anything happens when you just keep throwing things out. Let's actually see if you're able to fill up the trash can to max capacity. Wait, can I throw a water out? Okay, so I put a decent amount of things in there. I mean, I can keep throwing stuff away, but I don't think it's ever gonna fill up unless I'm wrong. And look, I can just empty it again and I can take it outside and do the same thing I just did. The reason this isn't used as much as like other features, like role play features, is because it's not really needed. Like you don't really have to throw out the trash all the time. And plus I don't have to throw it away. I can literally just press X and it goes away. So if that wasn't a feature, the trash cans would be used a lot more, but it is a cool like thing to have. Like, I mean, really adds like realisticness, you know? On to the next one. Okay, for this, I need to drive out of my house and get in my car. Okay, we're gonna go up the ramp right here or we can go into town. Doesn't matter. Let's go up the ramp. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, guys. So we are in front of the second least used feature that I'm going to be talking about today. And that is red lights. So they have these red lights and they actually put like the effort in to like make them change color. As you guys can see, it just turned green. But do you really think I obey by the rules? No. And plus it changes so fast. Like it's already red again. Like what? It's totally okay if you just drive through it. Like that would be so cool if they had like tickets or something. Like if you like went on red like you would have to get like a fine i don't really know how they would do that but if it was possible like that would be a really cool addition okay but anyways um that one's like kind of simple kind of self-explanatory nobody follows the rules in blocksburg so on to the next one <laughs> okay so we are right next to where i just was and this is the teleporter I can't speak. This is a teleportation area. So basically, if you walk into this big cave, it can ask you if you want to join a different neighborhood. Now, um, personally, I have never used this feature, but basically you can just like go into it and then you can join all the neighborhoods you have. I mean, usually you can probably just like press like this button and then go to main menu, which is most common, I guess, or you can just like leave the game. It's kind of cool, but it's just not really used that much. Wow, we have already made it to number four already? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going through this fast. Okay, but yeah, so the next thing we are going to be talking about is the observation tower. So, um, <laughs> this is an interesting spot. Like, I wish it was a little bit more interactive. Like, literally, it's just like a building that's like a block. Like, you can't go inside or anything, which kind of sucks. Like, it would actually be cool if it was like a museum or something. I don't know. But it does have a pretty view, I guess you can say. But yeah, I guess you could just sit here and like watch like ocean i don't know it's kind of weird i don't know i just wish it was like more interactive here and i feel like it would be used a lot more <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get out of here let's go to the next one i just managed to drive my car up this whole entire mountain and i'm not exactly sure how i did it but i'm not gonna question it so we're at our next thing and this is hand gliding so i love these like i literally love using these but honestly i haven't used them in so long like it's been a while but yeah so basically you can take these down and you can just drive down oh i can see my house oh that's so cute yeah but um they're not used that often <laughs> it's a cool feature but it's just kind of random okay i'm gonna take this one and let's ride into town and yeah <laughs> oh my gosh it's going so fast <laughs> all 
All right, okay. How do I? I need to get down from here. I don't know how they made this work. Like, I think it looks so cool though. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that little. <laughs> it looks so weird. Okay, let's fly to our next location. Yay. Oh my gosh, my car's still up there. Anyways, guys, we are at our next location, and this is uh, number six, I believe. This is a parking garage of Bloxburg. You know, look, there's so many people here. This garage is, like, never used. I have never seen somebody use this. The thing about it is, like, this garage is, like, so far away from everything. And, like, you can literally just park right there near the Bloxy Burgers, like, if you're working there. There's parking spots in the town is what I'm trying to say. And what's the point of walking all the way over from the parking garage to go where you need to be, you know? Um, it's really big for no reason. <laughs> um, I don't even think this many people could fit in a Bloxburg server. It is a cool building, but it's just never used. I think it would probably be a lot better if this was, like, a hospital or something or, like, a school. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of just, like, a waste of space. Okay, I think I have to go back home and get my car because I am not walking everywhere. This is gonna take way too long. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are at our next location and this is the Bloxburg Cave. But anyways, this cave is located right below the mountain um, near Lumber... Shoot, what's the name? A uh, Lovely Lumber, it's right near there. And this is actually a job you can work at. And personally, I love this job. Like I've actually done it multiple times. And it's actually kind of fun. You don't make a lot of money, but like if you're just bored and want something to do, it's a great place to go to. But yeah, let's go inside. This is the Bloxburg Cave and then we can go inside. It's really like cool. Ooh, like honestly like I wish this was like used more like it looks really neat like people don't appreciate this Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm about to mine <laughs> It's like minecraft, but in roblox. Okay, but seriously, this is like under the mountain Like I think this is so cool and you have this little guy right here and you can talk to them Anyways, uh, you can come over here and you can mine and i've never seen anybody do this job Like in a server like they're always doing the pizza job or the burger job or even the hairstylist job Like I think that's more popular than this, but yes, yeah, so you can mine for gold Gold and stuff like it's actually really cool oh shoot i'm stuck oh my gosh wait 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 i need to get myself out there's also like a hidden secret over here like i don't really want to spend the time getting to it right now but it's actually really cool and i wish this was used more like i wish you made more money for this i made 73 dollars for mining three blocks which isn't a lot so i'm stinky and we're gonna go to the next one <laughs> Okay, so we are at the next location and that is Fancy Furniture. So in Fancy Furniture, they actually have a lot of different furnishing options. Let, let, let me just talk about why I think this is like not used a lot. It would be like way cooler if they had like exclusive items in the store, but literally it's just like the same items you can get in build mode any day. But yeah, so honestly, it's just it's just a kind of a waste. Like there's not really much you can do with it. It's it's the same furniture you can get in build mode. And what's the point of driving all the way to town just so you can get furniture that you already buy from your plot? Okay guys, so we are almost done and the thing I'm going to be talking about next is just right over here. So as you guys can see here, wait, let me go into this mode. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of benches and I mean a lot. There's 20 benches in this whole entire town. Um, but yeah, so uh, what's the point of all these benches? I have no idea. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess they're, like, a good way to, like, get your energy mood up. It's a lot of benches. <laughs> I've never seen anybody sit on one of these. Like, ever. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we are going to be talking about the ATM, the Bank of Robloxia. Anyways, this can be used to buy money or game passes. But yeah, so they have um, blocks, bucks you can buy and you can buy money. The only thing I think it's like useful for is game passes because you can't really buy game passes like in the game. It would be super cool if blocks had like bank accounts. Like, I don't know how that would work. I don't know if that's even possible, honestly. Like, I, I don't, I'm not like a scripter. I don't code or anything like that. But it'd be really cool if I can like go into here, like type been oh i want to put a thousand dollars in my like account and then like come back for it when i actually need it but yeah you guys get the point it's just not really used so <laughs> i don't know what to say anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and turn your post notification bell so you never miss any of my videos um but yeah so this was just like a simple video just you know I don't know. I, I just thought it would be a cool idea. Anyways, guys, thank you for all the support on my channel recently. Anyways, guys, I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!